currently home alone and I don't know what to do with myself. I mean like technically I'm not like home alone because my brother is still in the house but he stays in his room like a little hobbit and I won't see him at all today. Anyway, that's, that's not important. So it's summer where I live and I know a lot of other places are in winter. There's a wasp outside. I thought that being the good citizen, look at that wasp. Baby, I'm not even here. I'm a hallucination. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that was a hornet. Being the good person that I am, I decided that I'm going to spread some... I need to stop looking outside. I decided that I'm going to spread some summer cheer. I almost said Christmas cheer, but it's not Christmas anymore, even though I still have my Christmas trees up. The summer cheermeister. Holiday cheermeister. Holiday hoobie waddy. Summer ends in three weeks, and I don't think I've really done a lot to really live out my summer experience. Like, I can't remember anything that I've done this entire year. I was thinking of a summer bucket list, and then I started brainstorming, and I started getting overwhelmed because realistically, no. Okay, I, the first idea that I had was going to the beach. Let's go to the beach, eat. Going to the beach, it stresses me out because I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I don't want to really wear a rash shirt, but then at the same time, I also don't want to wear like a skimpy swimsuit because there are creeps at the beach. And then I started thinking about other options and I'm like, what's another like summary option? And that is a picnic. Who doesn't love sitting on the ground? When I was younger, my family, we went on like picnics all the time. The last time I sat on that mat was years ago at one of my brother's soccer games. Sometimes my family's like, oh, we're going on a picnic. And it's really just buying food and then sitting at a park bench not sitting on the ground and it's not the same and then the last actual picnic that i went on was years ago <gasps> it was in 2020 but the, i remember it was like when restrictions eased slightly like where i lived and people were panicking night before trying to figure out if, like restrictions were going to be like actually i'm kind of uncomfortable right now because where i'm standing so i have next door neighbors right but my neighbors are kind of they basically have a tendency to gather as a little family in the corner of their yard staring up into the kitchen and I'm sort of standing in the kitchen. <sighs> Maybe I should move. So I haven't been on a picnic since. I thought, why not? You know, so my plan today is to have a little picnic by myself and we're gonna have it inside the house because why would I go outside? I mean, there are these woods that I sometimes run in and I could sit in there, but sometimes I get a really eerie vibe, which is good for me because it makes me run faster. But you know, sometimes you hear the leaves like rummage in the wind. Is that really the wind or is it someone rustling around in the bushes gonna jump out and attack me? I'm not even kidding, there's a reserve near my school. You like have to like sort of walk near it to get into school. And there were lots of reports of men hiding in the bushes and jumping out and attacking female joggers. So the point is, is that I'm going to be making myself a feast. I don't, there are lots of options. Bowls, bowls, some sort of thing here. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Euphoria is coming out tonight and I'm so excited. With like something here. It's again a Christmas thing, but like... Oh, look at these little fancy gravy things. The thing that I want is there, but I don't want to go digging through it. So I think I'm just going to get this nice little owl. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer thing. The first thing I have is this nice handmade donut. And I got these from Coles. They taste really good and I will only eat these jam donut. I'm gonna put it there because it's like the donut is his nose. Isn't that smart? I have absolutely no idea what these are. I've already opened the packet before but like the cookies are in this was that an accent these are in this i don't know but the cookies are like in this i literally can't even open this what is this container this took me like the cookies are like in this thing and i think i just want to open them and like see how they taste oh they're baby i'm trying to find ones that have like actual chocolate chips on them i'm gonna put like that there and I'm gonna put like that there. These are literally mini and it is so cute. Look at this. This reminds me of that scene 
in the fake diary of a wimpy kid where they have like the cheese cheese curls and like the seagulls come in you know i'm just gonna like organize these neatly it's very fancy Basically now we have to travel so it actually kind of looks like we're sitting on like a mat I really hope that all the things don't just come flying off, but they might potentially the shadows fall behind you. So I'm sitting on the rug here are my snacks. Wouldn't that be funny if I drop my phone? So now I'm going to taste test each item and I'm going to rate it because I actually decided that sitting down there was a horrible idea because I migrated like a seagull. Do seagulls migrate? I don't think they do, but I migrated like a bird. I have a joke. Why do seagull... No. Why are seagulls called seagulls? <laughs> seagulls? Seagulls. You know the annoying birds that like eat your chips? They're called seagulls because if they flew over the bay... Oh, wait, no. They're, they're called seagulls because they flo fly over the sea. And if they flew over the bay, they'd be called bagels, like the thing that you eat. The first thing I'm eating is a cheese puff. Not a lot of flavor. They took out all the flavor. It was like what? Flavor enhanced like 266 or like 26. They took out a flavor enhancer that made it actually taste really nice. But like, I'm still gonna eat them just because. Okay, next we're taste testing the ears. This is by that company that says these are proudly made in Australia. So we're gonna taste test this chocolate. Oh, I didn't rate the last thing. Yeah, out of like a two out of 10. Yeah, because they took out the flavor enhancer that made it like really flavorful. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. I mean, it's just like a mini chocolate chip cookie, but I don't know if it's like, like oh, hang on, let me. Three out of 10, I mean, three out of five. <laughs> I give it like a three out of five. It kind of has like a weird like aftertaste. It was a Christmas gift to one of my parents, so I just sort of like swooped in like an eagle. I just dropped my phone on the thing, and I thought it was gonna smash because it made like a really big noise. Anyway, okay. So the next thing I'm gonna eat are these, and these are kind of nostalgic for me. For my 16th, I had a party, but like I was really secret about it. You have close friends, and then you have the friends that you would sort of just invite to a party. Because like they invited you to here's my issue. Some of my really close friends have like massive, like major issues with these other people. So I'm not about to invite the people that my close friends have issues with just because I just feel like it's kind of disrespectful to them. Because it's disrespectful to you. So my friends came over. A lot of them had not seen Twilight. So we watched Twilight. And then some of them went swimming. I did not go swimming because I did not want to go no photos. One, because I was insecure, and two, just because I didn't want someone to post them and then people to be upset. But with these cakes, because they're also like stuck in the canister, the canister thing, my friend like put a like finger in it and like pulled it out. Like, this is what it reminds me of whenever I eat this cupcake. So we're gonna try it now. Icing by itself, five out of five stars, 10 out of 10 stars. We're gonna try like the cake part. Four and a half out of five. Out of five, it's a six. Whenever I eat sweet things, I always need water. Also, maybe because I'm talking. Did I mention that Euphoria is coming out today? I'm so excited. I waited so long. It's a song that I like, Three Nights, and I love that song. And the guy that sings it, he's gonna be in the new season. I'm pretty sure it's like on my top list for Spotify. There's a song, it's called Apologize by One Republic. And that song was always my top song, like for four years straight. And then last year, as in like the one that was like a week ago, that was supposed to be my fifth year, but it didn't even get in like my top five. Then I have my jam donut. It has, um, it has sugar on the outside, 
Also, I re-downloaded TikTok and I keep seeing out of bank stuff and I think it's because I had it offloaded for a while. And so now that I'm back, my For You page is sort of catching up all the time. Also, if you keep hearing like an aircon, that's because the aircon is on. Like I said, it's summer and it's hot. The gym, they're not as good. I pretty much ate the whole entire bag yesterday. Like yesterday, I would have said they're five out of five, but like today, they're only four out of five. This is the thing. When people judge, people judge like food, right? It sort of depends on how they're feeling. It depends on what they've eaten before, the time of the day it is, like have they brushed their teeth, you know? Because like the mint can throw things off, I think, because I did brush my teeth. It's kind of minty, but it's not minty anymore. We're coming to the end of our feast. Look at that. We have like a couple of those things. We have a couple of barbecue sauce packets and this. It's sad to see my feast ending, but like it's been a good feast. Speaking of feasts, feast reminds me of- Me and my friend, we used to have this thing called feasts and we would sneak behind the back of the school, bring in lots of food and share it. Disney for some reason, because they always have feasts. There's always such good food. <laughs> is in Maisie Mouse, she has like a birthday party and like there are these like crisp things and they look so good and I wanted to eat them but like I can't because it's like it's a cartoon and then also in the Simpsons, Simpsons movie when Ned fixes up that whole chocolate you know it really surprises me but my school that I go to right the amount of people who are not allowed to watch the Simpsons like in my year I'm like looking at them and I'm like you're almost 18. I was horrified because I just kind of inappropriate, you know, and sometimes it can be insensitive. But other times it's really funny. This one girl, I mean, I love her. No, I don't. She's one of those people that I can be friends with in like small doses because if you get too much, it's kind of exhausting because she's extreme, she's full on, and she always judges me. I literally never got to the point. So she basically, she is very vocal about how much she doesn't like the Simpsons. And whenever she says it, she always... I'm basically gossiping to myself about someone. This barbecue sauce packet is really good, by the way. Also, now I'm on a rant. So many people care about my love life, and they shouldn't. They're not even my friends. They're like friends of my friends. Mind your own business. I'm really dramatic at the moment, and it's because I woke up at 7.30. 7.30. I go back to school on the 31st. There's also this one guy that I need to text. He was very nice. It was like the last day of school. I was helping my friend and anyway, because I was helping my friend, I was kind of late, like going back, getting my bag and stuff. And he was there. I've already told this story, but I'm gonna tell it again. He was like, I really enjoy talking to you. Would you mind if I gave you my number? So I'm like, no, I don't mind because he's smart. Okay, so I'm having an actual intelligent conversation and said that maybe we can meet up in the holidays. And I'm really bad at socializing because I don't want to. I think my brother's venturing out of his room. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. He's just heard me trash talking to myself. But anyway, back to my story about this guy. He gave me his number, so like it's up to me to message him. And he's nice. I'm so bad at socializing, like I don't like seeing people. Because they exhaust me, you know? Being around people makes me nervous. It drains me, like, but I'm also one of those people that feels really insecure when I'm not around people because it makes me feel like everyone hates me. I'm gonna message him near when we have to go back to school because then we won't really have to meet up. I've been doing some thinking and I don't think I even wanna message him because what do I even say? He's probably forgotten me. That's so embarrassing. I feel like everyone just forgets about me. So if I have the message, I'll, I'll sort of say it like this. I'll be like, hey, his name. This is, what do I say? Cause my name is Isabel, right? But my nickname is Belle. Like I like being called Belle. Oh yeah, Disney princesses. Remember when I started talking about that? I really like Belle from Beauty and the Beast for a number of reasons. One, because she likes reading. I like reading. She has brown hair. I have brown hair. When I was younger, my hair, matched hers a lot she's with the sort of mean guy and the mean guy the mean guy only likes her and he doesn't like anyone else <laughs> if i have to go like my favorite disney princess like i don't actually know it's too hard to decide i like them all but like i feel like i resonate with her the most i'm gonna be like this is 
so what do i say for my name oh has he called me izzy before i think he has but like that's kind of what do i say do you even know i have to say my name because he won't have my contact safe okay i'll be like hello this is no hello's not cool hey blank this is whatever i decide to use from school so he can sort of jog his memory if he's like who is this this is so complicated i'm never gonna meet my soulmate because i don't know how to even talk to them you know i hope that in the future i can watch this video and be like you were worried for nothing so i'm gonna leave i'm going to wash this up and put it back so thank you for joining me for my picnic i enjoyed the picnic i liked eating my selections of food i didn't rate pretty much any of them the barbecue sauce packets i'm gonna rate them a five out of five because they just taste really good anyway 